हेलो डियर स्टूडेंट्स इन दिस आई एन आर नंबर सिक्स वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट वन बायोकेमिकल डिसऑर्डर विद गुड क्लिनिकल कोरिलेशन दैट डिजीज इज कॉल्ड एज टैंजियर्स डिजीज टैंजियर डिजीज इज ऑल्सो नोन एज फैमिलियल एच टी एल डेफिशियंसी बिकॉज इन दिस पेशेंट फैमिली विल बी सफरिंग एंड दे ऑल विल बी हैविंग एन कॉमन फैक्टर दैट विल बी एच टी एल विल बी एबसेंट सो जस्ट रिमेंबर बाई द नेम इट सेल्फ सो नेम इट सेल्फ इज टेलिंग एच टी एल विल बी एबसेंट और डेफिशियंट इन दिस फैमिली सो नाउ वी आर गोइंग टू सी वॉट इज टैंजियर डिजीज एज आई सेट इट इज अ फैमिलियल एच डी एल डेफिशियंसी इट इज ऑटोसोमल रेसेसिव डिसऑर्डर इन दिस ऑटोसोमल रेसेसिव डिसऑर्डर वॉट इज म्यूटेटेड सो देयर इज अ लॉस ऑफ फंक्शन म्यूटेशन ऑफ ए बी सी ए वन जीन वॉट इज ए बी सी ए वन जीन ए बी ए सी ए वन जीन इज अ ए टी पी बाइंडिंग कैसेट रिमेंबर दिट्स ए बी सी इज ए टी पी बाइंडिंग कैसेट ए इज अ सब फैमिली ए and one is the member number 1 so abca1 loss of function mutation what is the function of abca1 gene abca1 gene is responsible for the cholesterol transport that is why these are also called as cholesterol transporter gene so basically tangier disease is a mutation in the cholesterol transporter gene which is known as abca1 right what will happen here if the cholesterol transport is not there so where it will be it will not be in the blood so that is why in blood cholesterol will be low in blood cholesterol will be low because it is not going into the blood where it is accumulated cholesterol is getting accumulated inside the cell right so now you understood that cellular content of cholesterol will be high but blood cholesterol level will be low and in these patient when you will check the lab parameter biochemical finding you will find there is a no or nearly absent hdl ldl will be also reduced and triglyceride level will be elevated right what is the pathognomonic sign when you are going to uh, you know examine this patient clinically right so in this clinical examination what will be the pathognomonic finding pathognomonic finding will be enlarged tonsil <coughs> and remember that in last tonsil will be yellowish orange in appearance right so tangier disease yellowish orange tonsil is pathognomonic and this was the question in the exam which already had been asked in exam so please remember this topic tangier disease and they will show atherosclerosis because uh, cholesterol is inside the cell so they will be causing hepatosplenomegaly liver and spleen will be also getting enlarged if they are getting deposited into the neuron they will be causing neuronal damage polyneuropathy and inside the eyes they will be giving clouding of the cornea right so these are important point so now what will happen because of the cholesterol deposition we are going to see two important thing tonsil is showing you the yellowish orange colored tonsil why yellowish or color orange colored tonsil because of the cholesterol and phospholipid is deposited you remember as i said that cholesterol transporter gene is defective cholesterol is not transported they are collected inside the cells and that is why we are seeing the yellowish nodule within the tonsil and these nodules are nothing but these are cholesterol and phospholipid within the cells and same will be seen in the eyes also and you can see these are the hazy appearance so diffuse hazy opacity or clouding of cornea will be there but interesting point is it is usually milder and they are not causing any visual impairment that is the important point so please remember this image was the question in exam so whenever you see a tonsil which is enlarged and showing yellowish nodule that means it is a cholesterol and lipids and these are example of tangiers disease or familial hdl deficiency disorder so keep revising these topics for your exam best wishes